Boy, the Australians have really fallen off the map since Sydney in 2000 in this event. It's just an event they, they were on the verge of dominating. After the gold medal that they won at those Olympic Games, you thought, boy, they are well on their way. And just ever since about 2002, they have just have not been able to perform. And as evident, Ted, all of the men from Australia have really disappointed me here. I mean, it's just the last couple of years, they have, on the other hand, you have the women doing so well, the men have really been disappointing. And of course, part of that is the loss of Ian Thorpe, who retired from swimming earlier this year. And during the Worlds in Melbourne, it was announced that an out of competition test performed on Thorpe in last May, May of 06, had some irregular results. They're doing further tests on those results, but it's cast Thorpe under even more of a cloud of suspicion. And Rowdy, who could have imagined as Ben Wildman Tobriner goes in the water for the United States? Who could have imagined when you were watching these games here in Sydney six and a half years ago that Thorpe would be gone by then? It's incredible. I would have never imagined in my wildest dreams that this young man would be gone from the sport. Had so much promise. Still one of the greatest swimmers in history, but you know, he's such a proponent, has always been such a proponent of better drug testing. And, you know, I say innocent until proven guilty. There's a lot more to this story than we know and a lot more to come out. Well, this is a nice story here. Ben Wildman Tilbreener from Stanford University, a surprise world champion. He won the gold in the 53. It wasn't that great to see. I mean, out of nowhere, nobody expected him. Everybody thought it would come from somebody like Colin Jones, who actually did win the silver medal, but Doberman really did a nice job in winning that 53 free in the Australians, at least at the halfway point, are keeping it close right here. Now Ian Crocker in the water for the United States. Patrick Murphy for Australia. It's a very young Australian men's team. It is a young team for Australia. And Crocker in that black cap to the left. Most people know him as a butterflyer, world record holder in the 100-meter butterfly. But he's also a very good freestyler. It was on the Americans relay, 400 free relay in Athens where they won the bronze medal. So Ian Crocker now will bring it in and then we'll get the veteran Jason Lezak to swim the anchor leg as he has done so often. The world record was set by the United States. You saw it here on NBC at the Pan Pax last August with Lezak swimming the anchor leg. Well, you talked about the Australians being a young team. This team with Walker, Tobiner, Crocker, and Lezak really is a veteran team. Walker's 30 years of age, Crocker 24, and Jason Lezak's the old man at 31. So two of the four swimmers, Michael Phelps and Colin Jones off the world record team, not swimming in this event, but still Walker leading it off, Lezak anchoring in the United States safely ahead of the Aussies here. Well, you know, there's not many guys I'd like to have at the end of a relay than Jason Lezak. He has proven time and time again that he can get it done at the end. He was 47-3 on the end of that great free relay that won the world championships a while ago. And he's going to cruise in for the victory here. Yeah, Rowdy, you really hit it at the beginning. Uh, the Australian men so far have been in the pool, but there hasn't been much of a duel. No, it really hasn't. Not much of a duel at all. Jason Lezak, and you could tell by the way he cruised into victory there. You've never seen him be able to do that. And everybody gets a little bit of a laugh, but you can see how early on the Americans built this lead slowly but surely. At the halfway point, you thought, well, maybe the Australians might have a little bit of a chance, but Ian Crocker and Jason Lezak at the end. There you see Ben Wildman Tobiner doing a good job of 48 nine on his split and there goes Crocker right there and then after that it was just all the Americans and that's the way it's been that's the story of the of this meet Ted it's just you know that the Australians give a hint sort of like what Grant Hackett did in the 400 free and then all of a sudden they just fall by the wayside and Jason Lezak at the end 48-8 for him and he just cruises in and you just don't see that very much. 